Morning, Basha. Morning, Chloe. How are you going? <laughs> Looking forward to go out for a fish. Let me know when you're ready, Chloe. Yeah, unhooked. Today we're going to be going for gummy sharks. Good. So my grandpa used to take my mum out to Port Ferry yep. and he'd catch floody, snapper. When you get older, your weekends are yeah, taken up by sport. Yeah. And well, get out there, have a bit of fun, hopefully catch a fish. And catch a gummy for my grandpa. Yeah, it would he be would nice. love it. Our first calamari for the day. Some really good bait, hopefully, for some uh, gummy shark but later on. That so, way, Bash. Yeah, so we'll keep it this way. <laughs> I'll hand you the rods, put them in the rod holders if you can. And just a hook in the side of the mouth as opposed to a normal straight hook. Banjo sharks, but I'll go gummy sharks, boom, boom. Okay. Boom. There's a cheeky other one Another next one to behind it. it. He's just come up with it. Undersized though. So, bye bye. You're going to pull up everything today. How long have you been fishing for, Bash? I've been fishing since I was about 10. The thing is with me, my, my parents, they migrated to this country in the 70s and they purely came to this country to better their children's education. Yep. You know, they, they, they were in Lebanon at the time and it was pretty much war-torn. And they thought, like, basically, if anything apart from going to school was like a distraction okay. from school. Hence why I used to sneak out when I was young to go football fishing. and fishing as well. But um, that changed within one year and that they became very supportive. Yeah, but you can understand the, the background that they've come from. Oh, that's, that's better. I reckon half the fun is pulling it in. For me, it's more hooking on the fish. What do you got there, Chloe? Look, I'd love to say a gummy, but... Another banjo shark. Almost as good looking as you, Bash. Yeah. Maybe it's even a bit more attractive. Definitely yeah. more attractive. It's not that attractive, surely. <laughs> Where did you start playing football? All my childhood memories of in the street, choose two trees and that's the goals. <laughs> I did play Auskick. Yep. And then I got to a certain age where I couldn't play with the boys. Yep. Oh, okay. Maturity had happened. Yeah. So I went and played basketball. 2017, the AFL Women's announced that they were going to have a league. Yep. I'd actually signed a college scholarship to go play basketball yeah. in America. Yeah. I said to the college, um, Look, my heart's just not with basketball. No. I, I want to go play footy and pursue my dream. I think that's probably the biggest decision I ever had to make myself, but it's probably, yeah. oh, I would not regret it. Obviously, it shows how much passion you have for football and, uh, and the love of the game. All right, we've got a gummy. We've got a gummy. That's what we want. That's what you want. Just take your time. Always keep the line tight. Yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah. Beautiful. Got Here we in. are. We got him. <laughs> Gummy shark. Great work, Chloe. <laughs> we'll hold him together. You've got a leadership academy. Is it leadership academy? It's a leadership academy, football academy, bringing in young Muslim uh, men and women into a good environment, safe environment, teaching them the importance of being active, teach them a few leadership skills as well, making good decisions in life. The other thing is also their identity as well as proud Australian Muslims, you know what I mean? Like, you know, the realities of what's happening all around the world, it's very sensitive. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, these young men and women unfortunately received the backlash of that and the reality is it's not the people we are. So you just try to instill some hope in them and, um, you know, to continue to be proud of who you are. Question. Question. Fishing? Yes. Or footy? For me right now, yeah. I think I'm at a point where footy is probably my oh, absolute no, love. I love it. I, I love it, Bash. <laughs> I love good. it. Especially with women's footy now and I, I like I don't mean to be arrogant, but I'd like to see myself as, you know, a role model and um, someone that, you know, young girls can look up to and yeah. playing footy, I, I think I'm a leader and a voice for so many that mm. once didn't have a voice. Absolutely. Very good. Footy? Fishing. Yeah, okay. Didn't even have to say it, did didn't I? Have to didn't it even off. have to say it. <laughs> Look, I, I do obviously enjoy football, but I've been involved now for 14 years um, and, you know, very, very content. I enjoy fishing. I get a lot out of it, a lot of satisfaction. And any time I get the opportunity to go out, um, I'm in the water. It's a way of getting out and just letting go of everything in life. And you, you need that time every now and then, self time. Yep. I could spend hours. Yeah. Uh, like the thrill of, you know, hooking a fish on. Yeah. Like I could, would happily catch flatheads all day. <laughs> I got a bite. I just gonna come, cast away. Just out there. Oh, I got one too. 
See those birds behind? See that here? That's all, that's all bait. Yeah, yeah. That's all just packed up with like little white bait. Oh, yeah, look there.